What's up, Wastelanders? My name's Blackwell, and this is your Fallout 76 daily news for Tuesday, the 29th of June, 2021. Ring that notifications bell, hit that thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you want to be up to date with content when we make it on the platform of YouTube. Alternatively, we do stream on twitch.tv forward slash Blackwell TV uh, six times a week across five days. So feel free to check the schedule over there or check the details in the description as well. Right. Got a few things to look at today, so uh, let's get straight into it. With the Atomic Store, um, let's have a look at that. Let's just see what's in the store at the moment. Um, so heading to the utilities to start out, we have a free supply package, which is additional materials to help you survive, and you can put that onto any of your characters. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, alrighty, so that's free. There's no harm in picking that up. Put it in the scrap box if you've got Fallout first. Jobs are good enough. Going back to the featured page and starting on the far right and working our way through. Uh, oh, there's the free supply package again. Sweet. So the unicorn's wallpaper is reduced by 30%. It's 350 atoms. Okay. For people who like that, it's all good. Moving on a tab, you've got some previous stuff as well. Uh, the Warlord outfit is still here. It's called Skull Lord Warsuit. Okay, cool. Nice. And uh, yeah, we've got some other bits and pieces that we've seen before. They're still in the store. They're leaving soon, though, apparently. Limited seven days on this bundle. Greatest hits. We've got an Enclave bundle for a week, which includes the Enclave paint for the Power Armor. Uh, oh, actually, it says Enclave Power Armor paint. So it is a paint job, I suppose. Uh, with the jetpack plan, not plan, with the jetpack um, paint. New skin for the Power Armor frame, um, chassis, frame, display, repair, bench. What, what is it called? Can someone Power Armor Station. It's just called a station. Wow. Okay, cool. Pit Boy skin. Um, what's this showing off? A beret and a very shiny leather suit. 1800s could be yours if you want to spend that atoms on that. The Western Bar Bundle is back. Okay, comes with some fish, some stools, some other fish, some weather vanes, and a, a, a fan. Okay. If you're into that kind of thing, that's pretty cool. Uh, these are pretty cool. If you're going for that Western bar, it's uh, it's perfect, isn't it? If you're going for that sort of, you know, saloon. Um, know that the uh, the vendor on the on the front look, it's similar to the vending machines that we have. That's cool. Uh, Flyboy bundle. Nick, this is pretty interesting as well. Nice little backpack. A bunch of berries. Meh, berries are berries. Um, outfit. The Flyboy player icon I already have for some reason. Um, yeah, not too bad. It's okay. The Grill Master Bundle for 1,000. Obviously, uh, Meat Week's coming up soon. So this could be a useful one for you, for anyone who's uh, looking to do this. Go for the theme, you know, the chef-style theme for the characters. I have a, a chef character at the moment, so that might be quite cool to uh, take a look at that. That comes with a Hazmat Meat Cooler Backpack, which is here. Grill Master's Outfit. One, two, two flags and two barbecue grills. So they're the grills and they're the flags. Meat and yum. Interesting uh, concept for flags, but yeah, okay. 40% uh, off the 2076 glasses. 40% um, off the Daredevil bodysuit. I don't think that's... It's pretty cool, don't get me wrong, but I, I don't think it's Under Armour. I think it's a costume. And then lunchboxes, repair kits, and scrap kits are all 20% off at the moment, apart from the lunchboxes, sorry. Um, the repair kits and scrap kits 20% off, and the lunchboxes is a bundle of 40 for 1,000 atoms if you want to buy XP. Moving on to door-to-door, -to -door, this was last week's. Uh, the mask display for Fashnak, the robot signs display case, and the travelling salesman outfits are still available for a time of 13 days. I believe it's probably going to be two weeks. But yeah, 13 days remain on them. And this is the new stuff. What have we got here then? We've got a bunch of new Independence Day stuff, basically, to celebrate 4th of July, um, which is a big thing for Fallout. Uh, the patriotic paint for the, what is that, the Fixer skin. Very nice. Red, white, and blue. It looks a bit French, but yeah. Red, white, and blue, baby. Pretty cool. Um... Do bear in mind that there is a fixer skin in the season pass. So if you're buying that for 500 atoms just because you need a skin for the fixer, just remember that there is one in the um, in season five's um, scoreboard. 
So just be aware of that. 4th of July frame. What else we got? 4th of July icon. Just says 4th. If you're fed up of being full up first, you can be full up fourth. Um, a rocket fan for any Elton John fans out there. It's pretty cool looking. The American Patriot Power Armor paint sets back. This is pretty cool. I have got this on my main. Um, yeah, very nice. Each skin is individually tailored for the Power Armor it fits on, which is quite nice. And the Patriotic Nuka Shine hat is reduced by 40%. Pretty cool. We got a free one of those um, a while back in a, in a community event, but uh, that's a different skin on it, so that's cool. The parade outfit. Looks like a quite, quite a bland outfit, if I'm honest. But if you want that, it's available for 700. And the Liberty Prime Power Armor's paint set is back. They do come with uh, voiced sound effects as well. Cool. So that's the uh, that's the store update. I don't believe there's anything else in here, but if there is, let me know in the comments, um, and we'll move into the game itself. Character Din Djarin, play adventure mode. Right. So that's the store update. Nicely done. Um, it's pretty cool. Don't forget there is a bonus challenge week this week for the um, for the daily events, which we'll take a look at in a moment. That started. On Tuesday, June 29th, which is right now, it started at 12 Eastern, which is 5 p.m. UK time. So it started about an hour ago. Um, and it ends on Tuesday, the 6th of July at the same time. So at 5 p.m. UK time or 12 p.m. Eastern, that's when Bonus Challenge Week will end. And what is Bonus Challenge Week? Essentially what it means is... The regular bonus challenges will have two additional daily challenges each day for a week, right? So if we head to our challenges, you'll see that this is a lot more challenges than normal because there's two extra in here, you know? So normally what you get seven or eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven at the moment. You don't normally get nine. You normally get, I think, eight, but then there's the storm challenge as well. And then there's another one as well. So, um... So we're getting an extra two, let's say these two, plus your storm as well, I believe. So you're getting a whole bunch of dailies there. And then the weeklies have obviously refreshed as well. So let's take a look at the dailies. If we can, hang on one sec. Can we get away from these loud robots? We cannot. Let's just uh, go for a wonder. And hopefully we won't die in the process. Um, I should be a lot more irradiated than I am actually. So let's head over to our aid. Good drink. Toxic gear, there we go. I'll sort it. And we will go somewhere nice and safe over here. Right. Um, so daily and weekly challenges, we'll go through those. And then we'll finish off with uh, a look at the daily ops, which I've already completed because I tried to complete it Yesterday, right at the very end, before it reset, and it actually reset during my time in there, so it counts as today. Don't forget, I am on social medias. I'm on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Um, links are in the description below if you do want to follow me on any of those or join our community and head to the Discord. Feel free to do so as well. What I ask is that your Twitch account is linked with your Discord account, so if you do have a Twitch account, um, then link it profile-wise so we can validate who you are. Uh, if you don't have a Twitch account, they are free to get, and they are cool. You get to watch a lot of people play video games. It's pretty decent over there. Right, so let's take a look at the dailies. Claim a workshop. Okay, so we're real close by. So we'll probably take something like um, Charleston Landfill, Wade Airport, or Lakeside Cabins. Pretty easy stuff for that one. Collect 250 caps. Well, if you can head to a robot vendor and sell off some merch, you can pick up your caps relatively simply. Uh, complete an event. That will come with a workshop. So once you've claimed a workshop, if you have to defend it, that will class as um, an event. So you can do that as well. Robots. Um, robots, robots, robots. Let's have a quick think about where we can find robots. The White Springs Hotel is probably the easiest place to go for robots. Um, failing that, you could probably go... To the 
Fertile soil event at the Voltec Agricultural Research Centre. There's robots there. They're relatively simple to kill as well. You can actually get that event finished as well in one go, in one fell swoop. So let's go and do that. Um, yeah, why not? I'll drink some coffee while we do it. The video's at 10 minutes. I don't want it to exceed 20 minutes, if I'm honest. I don't need a team at the moment. Always team up. Whenever you're in an event or uh, whenever you're just playing in the world, just find someone to team with. Uh, Havoc 551 will do. There we go. We're in a team now. They're already downed. We're on a Mandalorian build, so we're doing our sort of bloodied energy weapon build. You could also go through a silo to clear out some robots if this event isn't on, or you could um, head to Vault 76. And just outside of Vault 76, there are some Liberators as well. Take down known robots as well. You can do it you can go pretty much anywhere. You could do eight wall armaments if you want to do an event that's uh, a bit more rewarding. Probably going to get that level up in a minute. Uh, let's see. We've got four more robots to kill. There's one. It's just not dying. There we go. Um, kill one more. Farmhand supervisor. Nice. Nice and easy. And then when we head inside. Finish off the event just by going up to the computer. Cool. We got our level as well. Nicely done. So that's not 15 robots killed. Good job. Uh, climb a workshop. Yeah, we spoke about these. You need to reset the front hand targeting parameters. That should keep our people safe in the area. Be careful. Okay. Uh, a dead person telling me to be careful. Lovely stuff. Uh, gold star, if you complete five of these dailies, you'll get this one finished as well. Kill a legendary enemy. So for that one, you can take on a queen as part of the uh, Scorched Earth event. Um, I personally would tell you to go up to this area or, or periodically check this area for leader of the pack. You'll get um, you'll get legendaries in that event. There's normally three legendaries per event. Or you can go to Rad Rumble and try your, try your medal there, test your medal there. Modify a piece of armor. Now, for this one, it's very easy to do. If you go to an armor workbench, go to one of your selected pieces of armor and then apply a skin to it, then take the skin off, then apply a skin to it take the skin off and then apply the skin to it that'll be five modifications and that will consider that one complete as well nuclear winter killer player obviously this is the testing one of the nuclear winter challenges head into there if you want to and give it a go you might find someone afk you might not it's it's a tough one to do um and then take over a workshop with the brotherhood of steel backpack on so if you're claiming a workshop anyway um you probably got your brotherhood of steel backpack by now if you haven't uh check in the atom store because it should still be available it will be under, I believe, skins. Skins, head over to backpacks. Uh, it's this one here. Once you've redeemed it here, you need to go to an armor workbench um, and then you can apply it to any backpack you've made. If you haven't got a backpack skin at all or a backpack plan or anything like that, then head to Morgantown Airport. Once you've cleared that area out, the interior of Morgantown Airport, um, you should find a... Um, a stash box, a an overseer stash box, and you'll get a plan for a small backpack in there. So uh, just bear that in mind on Alert. your travels. Possible source of compost to be Target is rich and nice. Right, all these robots on our challenge have been killed, so we'll just clear out these ghouls, and then we'll finish off this quest as well to get our event sorted. Uh, ch change of farmhand targeting parameters, uh, remove humans from that, and we're done. Those robots should no longer attack us, but they will, probably. So we're going to get out of here and go down to the Rusty Pick. Okay, dailies are discussed. Let's go on to weeklies and let's talk about these. Okay. Couldn't fast travel for some reason. We'll get out of here. 
There we go. Okay. So the weeklies will obviously take a little bit more time. Uh, if you'd like advice on that, or if you want help on that, then hit me up on, the, on my Twitch channel, like I say. Um, we'll take a look at those in a moment, as soon as we've got out of this uh, loading screen. Oh, um, the uh, the nuke silo codes are what are at the bottom of the screen here. So then the active nuke silo codes, so if you are running Alpha Bravo or Charlie, they are up to date. I believe they change over um, Wednesday night into Thursday. So we'll have new codes for you as soon as they change on uh, Thursday's episode of this uh, video. Okay, so weekly challenges. Let's take a look. A little bit more time on these ones. Build up a workshop or a camp zero of three. So you've got to do three of these little check marks to get your um, to get your score there. Collect caps 1,500. Now, as I say, if you go to the robot vendors, you can get 1,400 caps. Yeah, over two days. Um, you'll well and truly get over 1500 simply done. Uh, completed daily operations. Now we've done one today. You can do five in the week. You can wait. Ideally, what you want to do is wait for um, a combination. That's quite simple and easy to do. Maybe a small location. Um, maybe you want to go for uplink in the burning mire or in the burning mine, sorry. Or you want to wait for West Tech or something like that. Just, just, just take a look when you log in and see if it's worth doing that day and then spam out five. If you've got five characters, one per character is pretty useful because you can get different roles um, for the rare rewards if you get Elder Rank. So that's pretty nice. Uh, complete a gold, st a gold start daily challenge. So when you do four, five dailies in a, in, a, in a daily, five dailies in a daily, yeah, five dailies in a daily, then you will get yourself uh, one of these. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one of these, sorry. I'm just not with it at the moment. Um, so, yes, complete five of these challenges to get this daily sorted. And once you've got this daily sorted, you will also get this daily sorted. Capiche? Good. Okay, complete ten events. The easiest way to do this is to take settlements. If you take settlements over the course of a week, you'll get defend this settlement as an event. If you then defend that settlement as the event, you will get this shipped off relatively swiftly. Continuing with destroying robots, you've got to destroy an Assaultron, five iBots, five Liberators, five Mr. Gutsy or Handies, five, uh, five Protectrons, a Sentry Bot, five Turrets, or a Vertibot. A combination of these five. So for me, head to White Spring Hotel, destroy five Mr. Gutsies, Destroy five Protectrons. Destroy a Sentry Bot. That's three or five done straight away. Liberators. So if you want to go kill some Liberators, there's a free fast travel point at Vault 76. You can head there. If you just leave and turn... As you leave, you're looking at turning to the right-hand side. Go down the hill. You'll see some Liberators there. That's four out of five. If you want to take on an Assault Run, you can do it at the White Spring. So you could actually stay at the White Spring and take all, all those en enemies out. Or you could head down to Watoga. I personally would head down to Watoga because there's more space to fight. So I'd spawn in the Watoga station and then I'd head up the tracks here. Um, and it's sort of on this corner, just near Watoga Estates, you'll find an assault on. You can take that one out as well. If you do struggle with that, team up with players and go and finish your, um, your weeklies together. What else have we got on the weeklies? Um, eat a meat-based meal, zero of 25. So what is a meat-based meal? If you go to a cooking station and go to meat, there you go, that's your answer. So what would be the simplest one to to consume? Maybe something and wood would be the simplest recipe. Um, for this one, you probably want to be looking at the Perception Perk Butcher's Bounty. That will probably help you out carrying meat. 80% chance to find extra meat from animal corpses. 25 meat-based meals. Um, I'm wondering if the Salisbury steak that you can obtain from Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm works for this. If it does, let me know in the comments and uh, that'd be great to, to know. Um, but yeah, meat-based... I mean, if you take it down, Scorch Beasts, Scorch Beast steaks would be good. I mean, there's, there's 13 there. Uh, 14, 15, 16. So taking down Scorch Beast would be quite useful. 17. So a couple of Scorch Beast Queen events... You know, you don't necessarily have to be the person to shoot off the nuke. You'd have to take on the enemy solo. Um, 
but you could quite easily, you know, take on some of the uh, some of the mobs there down at that event. Um, let's see. Do we have a Salisbury steak? We do. Does that count? It does not. Okay. Let's have a look, see what does count then. Pepperoni roll will. Uh, glowing meat steaks. Yeah, they should. So maybe take on some mole rats and that kind of thing. Canned meat stew. That counts. Nice. Uh, what else have we got that counts? Rest mega sloth. These obviously will. Okay, yeah, I mean, any any animal, you know, just turn on Butcher's Bounty, scour the globe for uh, for meaty treaties, and you should be good with that one. Uh, continue with the weekly killing legendaries. That's the aim of the game at the moment, really, um, until the next, next update where things change a little bit. Level up, so playing the game, you'll essentially level up your character. Um, having a high intelligence build will help you with that one as well. And don't forget your public teams. Uh, max out a public team for plus four intelligence. The repeatable is always there, which is uh, a gain XP, 10,000. So you want a high intelligence build if you want to start um, hitting the repeatable. Obviously, we head towards the season pass finale this week. And complete three daily challenges for a Brotherhood of Steel flag set. Now, we've not seen much about the flag set other than it's in our main menu. So we'll take a look at that as we leave the video today. The daily ops is uplink in Valley Gallery against super mutants who heal while grouped. And they have greatly enhanced perception. This is a really, really good daily op to get your five out of the way. So if you do want to work on that weekly, today's a really good day to do it. Because healing while grouped in close proximity doesn't necessarily do you any more damage. So that shouldn't be a problem. Um, just keep them out of close proximity and it's just simple, straight, super mutant murdering walk. So yeah, it'd be quite easy to do today. So be sure to, uh, to hit that up if you do wish to do so. Um, let's quit to main menu. And hopefully we'll be able to see what these flags look like. Yeah, this is the graphic. Uh, and it's the flags on the left-hand side of this image, really. So uh, I'm just going to hide for a moment. So it's those flags, basically, which will be your weekly for the, uh, for the Storm Challenge as well. There you go. Um, as we do head towards Independence Day, we're also heading towards a new patch a few days later. So uh, get your stars and bars out in Appalachia and uh, I'll catch you in there. Yeah, but that's it from me for today's video. If you have liked this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more content and I'll see you in Appalachia. Take care of yourselves. Peace and love to you and yours. Catch you on the next one.